Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Maya. And in this video, I wanted to do my, my completed pages in Enchanted Forest because I actually did this video when I first started my channel, but I had to delete it because the editing wasn't right. I didn't, um, it wasn't, it was sideways. So I ended up deleting all of those videos. I think I have one left that I need to delete, but so I'm doing it again. Whoever didn't see it, you could see it now. Enchanted Forest. Um, this was my favorite of hers for a long, I think it's still my favorite of hers. I did get it when it came out, so I've had it for a long time. And you can see that it's very worn and torn. I feel like this cover is about to like rip. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you what I did do. And uh, most of these are old, so uh, I might go back and just add a little to these, but this is with Prismacolor. Um, so is this by the nameplate page. Let's see if I could. And this I did with these just markers, and I do plan right now in the fall to kind of update. This I remember being very proud of at the time. It's one of my favorites that I did in here, the map. It's an old one. And I did use um, pastels, chalk pastels. Like I rubbed it on, I didn't have pan pastels at the time, so I rubbed it on the cotton at the time and just did that. And I didn't even fix it. It just kind of, it kind of does soak in nicely to the paper. I don't, I don't think that you really need to when it's uh, just a very tiny bit, you know? So that's with Prisma also. These are pan pest, uh, not pan, chalk pastels and Prisma. Also, I love how these came out. And these are old. I, I was really proud of it at the time, I remember. I, I was like obsessed with this book at the time. I still love it. This one, I can see myself going back and adding background um, and maybe some shading. So this is an old one, an old width. And I love um, leaves. I love coloring leaves and like trees and stuff. So whenever I see leaves, that's why I love this book because it's like full of leaves. <laughs> um, that one is the owl. I did it with the, some metallic uh, markers and like gel pens at the time. And then the, the squirrel, I did those two and I love how they came out, so. Um, with a certain uh, color palette. At the time, I used to go in order with my books back in the day. See, now I would probably go back in. This is like with marker. I would probably blend that, make it better with like pencil, you know? So I think um, this month and next month for the fall, I'm going to color in this more. And I probably will make some of the pages a little bit better now that my technique is better. Here I have to do a background, I'm not done, but it's an old page. It's pretty much done, but I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna go in with pan pastel now and make it even better. This is with, uh, the background is the metallic paint, like a cheap metallic paint, like one of these uh, palettes. So this is a relatively newer one, but it's not, it's still kind of old. <laughs> uh, probably maybe two, two or three years ago or something like that. This is a ongoing whip that I'm almost done with. I did the background with uh, watercolors. So I need to finish that up. I'll probably finish it this month, God willing, hopefully. Let's see what else I did in here. This, the background is um, metallic uh, watercolor, but I think as you can see, it's very streaky. So I'll probably go back and do another uh, layer if I can find which one I used. I think I know which watercolor I used. I think it's the Ganze Tombi uh, watercolor. So I'm gonna go and do another layer of that. This one is was finished for me at the time it was finished. It's just gel pen and like fine liners. But I'm gonna go back and do a little pan pastel background with that. So I feel like that'll be nice. This is an old whip that I need to finish. 
It's with Prismacolor and fine liners. I think that's what I used. This is cool. This is an, a whip that I updated, I want to say, maybe in, in like this year or last year in like November, December. I did that with a stencil. The These flowers I did with like a, a acrylic paint and a stencil. And then I, I outlined the, the shapes with um, fine liner. That's how I did the background. And then underneath is just um, a watercolor, like a brown, a light brown watercolor. And the leaves are pencil. So that was a cool one. What else? This is a very old whip. I used Coley Nor pencils and um, at the time. <laughs> And I think, and then I added a watercolor in the background. That's an old page. Let's see what else I did. Oh, this is a, a oh, wait a minute, I have more in here. I have a lot in here. This is with gel pen and fine liners, and I definitely need to go back and do a background for that, so I will. That's an old whip that I started with the feathers. And unfortunately, one of the things I did here bled through. But, you know, I'll cover that up. This is a, an old whip. I love the colors. This is like my favorite colors for mustardy, greeny. So that's a tree. I love that one. I need to finish that. I love that image. I'm gonna finish that. Um, this is a, a pretty recent one. I think I did that in December. Um, of, or January, maybe. relatively newer and I love how that came out that was fun I think I did neo color in the or me no actually I think it's pencil pencil background now I would do it even better like my technique got much better but um I might go in and do a little shading here now that I see I'm gonna go and update <laughs> now that my technique is a little better but I love I do like how that came out <clears throat> I can see I started that. I just love this book. Literally, I love, 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 love. I love forest and leaves. This is um, a really fun one that I want to finish. I started that a long time ago, and I, hopefully this month I'll finish it or next month. Um, this is an old page that I remember being so proud of at the time. It's with Prismacolor. This is with, um, um, what are they called? Super tips, Crayola super tips and some Prisma. So I think I'll go back and like add some shading to that and maybe um, a back pan pastel in the background. I need to update this one. So I will do that eventually. I love this book, literally. I wanna do like every page in here. This is a whip I'm working on. I started a couple months ago and I do wanna, I do wanna, continue finish that hopefully this fall so that's that's a more recent page and these are Caliro. this is already already got the Caliro paints the watercolor so gonna work on that what else do i have in here i think that's it yep um yeah that's it so look how brown it is it's so old <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed my flip through of Enchanted Forest and I look forward to updating this book in the fall. I want to work on it. It's like, it feels like a fall page to me, like an autumn kind of book. So that's why I didn't work in it in the summer, but I'm looking forward to working in it. It's my favorite Joanna Basford. I think she did her best work in here, although I really like Worlds of Wonder right now also, but I really like that one. So Hope you enjoy the video and you enjoy your coloring and you're having fun, relaxing, and I'll see you in the next video.